Good morning, everyone. This is very different again, isn't it? I'm not recording this assembly at home like I've recorded all the others. Can you see where I am? Do you know which classroom this is? I'm in line class in school and I'm recording this ready for Thursday. And Thursday is our special VE celebration. I'm wearing red and I'm wearing blue and maybe you're wearing those colours as well. Possibly you're wearing red and white and blue. And what is going on? What is VE and why are we wearing those colours? If you already know quite a lot about this, you might want to pause the video now and tell your mum or your dad about your knowledge. VE stands for Victory in Europe. And you've learned about Europe, so you know it's the continent where we live. All the different countries in this part of the world come together to form Europe. And you may have been to some of the other countries in Europe. Maybe you've been to France, Spain, Italy, Portugal, Greece or Turkey, or Germany, Sweden, Denmark, Norway. Maybe you've travelled in that part of Europe. And victory, of course, means that things have been won. So, 75 years ago was the end of a terrible war in Europe. All the countries near the UK, near where we are, instead of getting along and being in different groups and teams together and unions, they fell out and sadly many lives were lost and many buildings were destroyed. When the war ended, the Prime Minister at the time talked about victory. Victory in the UK, victory in Europe and freedom being won. I'm going to show you some pictures now from the first VE day. So it's not VE Day today, it's actually from 75 years ago. We're remembering VE Day today. And the red and the white and the blue, you probably know, don't you? Those are the colours of the Union Jack. Those are the colours of our flag. And they often come together to show Britain or the United Kingdom. As you look at these pictures, I wonder if you can spot things that are the same as now and things that are different. All the children at Farncombe School are very good learners, so you probably know quite a lot about the number 75. You can probably imagine counting up to 75 in ones, or maybe in tens and then adding on that five, or counting up to it all the way in fives. I'm not 75 years old, so this is something, this is a piece of history that happened before I was born. My parents, so Oscar's grandparents, had just been born, so they were babies when VE Day happened. My grandparents, so imagine that, not my parents, but my grandparents, they were alive for VE Day. And I've actually seen a lovely photograph of my grandma um, having a picnic to celebrate VE Day back in 1945. So have a look and see what's the same as now and what's different. I'm going to move over here out of the way and I'm going to show some slides on the Lime Class whiteboard.
So here we can see people dancing for joy in the streets. 50,000 people went to the roads in central London around Piccadilly Circus. Maybe you've been there. And people spoke to and danced with and hugged people they'd never met before. And there was all different kinds of music playing. Maybe you recognise the fountain here. It's just in front of the National Gallery, I hope you've been there, in Trafalgar Square. And usually you're not allowed to go in those fountains, but people did because they were celebrating so much, they were delighted that the war was over. And this is the special sign for victory. Do you see how these people have got two fingers up and they're, they're showing the palm of their hand, the inside of their hand, and then those two fingers to show victory, victory in Europe. And the man there in the middle, with his hand up in the air, you might recognise him, even though you can't see his face very well in this photograph. Do you know who it is? It's Winston Churchill, and he was the Prime Minister at the time. He's waving to a huge crowd of people. And earlier that day, he'd announced on the radio that the war in Europe was over. I wonder if you know who these people are. On the left there, just this side here, this is our Queen. That's Queen Elizabeth. When the war ended, she was a princess. Her father, George, he was the king. And later on, when he died, she became the queen. And they're standing there in front of Buckingham Palace. Now these girls, they are celebrating. Do you see the Union Jack flag they've got? But the building behind them doesn't look very nice. It's been damaged in the war. And after the celebrations of VE Day had finished, it was time to rebuild our country. It was difficult. It didn't just happen the next day. There were shortages for many years. People didn't have enough food or enough clothes. And even today for some people, although they remember VE Day happily, their memories are tinged a little bit with sadness about how terrible that war was. Unfortunately, we live in a world where war does still exist, not in our country at the moment, but in other places. And as we think about the 75th anniversary of VE Day, we should stop and think about how we can remember people who fought in the war to bring peace and freedom to the world. And I wonder if there's anything you can do today and this weekend to bring peace to your home. We're going to finish with a prayer. Dear God, thank you for all those who fought to bring freedom and peace during the Second World War. Thank you that peace eventually came. Please be with all those who are living in parts of the world affected by wars today. Please help us to do our bit in creating peace wherever we are. Amen. If you want to think a little bit more about peace and about freedom, 
then your parents have been emailed some ideas, things for you to talk about and things for you to make. So you can ask your mum or dad if you're interested in that. So VE Day, it was a time to celebrate. The war had ended. Many of us wish it had never started in the first place. So, although it's a celebration, there is an echo or a shadow there of sadness. Enjoy wearing your red, white and your blue. I hope that you've got bunting and decorations up and I hope that you have a nice piece of cake or some finger sandwiches for afternoon tea later on, just like people did in 1945. I will see you again next week after the long bank holiday weekend on Monday. Bye-bye.